Alright Josh here and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2018 Battle Spot Live series. Now, in the last episode we went 3-0 and and I believe we should now be in the 1700s which is pretty nice to be honest so I'm kind of happy about that. Still with the Thunderous team. I am working on a new team in game. Hopefully, yeah we were 1702 that's pretty nice. Let's have a new Cosmo. Um, hopefully I should get a new team to you guys on Monday. That's my aim but it's taking a little while to get it in game. I've had some bad breeding luck. <laughs> And, well, I have actually done all the breeding now, but now I've got to level a couple of Pokemon to level 100 to uh, Bottle Cap, so that's kind of annoying, but never mind. I feel like this is very similar to the team that we played against last time with person in the 1700s. Even the name, like the, the ZZs at the end. Is this the same person? Because they had Lele, they had pretty much this team, but they didn't, I don't think they had a Moongus. Okay, this this could be the same person. So, um, they're probably after out for revenge. So we're gonna go with fun fact: thunderous one shots Bishop. Um, let me think. I definitely want to go Aegis Slash off the bat. I kind of want to. I kind of want to bring Thunderous as well. I think I have to bring Incineroar. Oh, but Bishop's a bit scary. Definitely bring in Titar again. I can't believe I've bring him much. This is really funny. Who did I bring last time? Finny. Yeah, Finny's actually good. I also I brought Katana last time as well. Actually, I'm not gonna bring Katana this time. I feel like this is the same person we played last time. Oh yeah. So hopefully, as I was saying, hopefully new team on Monday. Fingers crossed. If not Monday, definitely Wednesday. But hopefully, just need to find the time to grind up to level 100 with a few ones. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Let's play this person possibly again. I'm, I swear to God, this is the same person. I'm pretty, pretty damn sure. Obviously, we're bringing Thunderous this time, which is um, an interesting change. Slow rubber shot. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say, we liked a little bit there. I'm just gonna Ghost Gym Z, the slow roll. And I'm gonna Volt Switch the Bishop. Marowak comes in, so be it. Please, if that's Sash, that's also bad. If it's not Sash Bishop, Volt Switch gets the Oko. Oh, you could also Sucker Punch. Oy. Would a Sucker Punch knock out Aegis Slash? Potentially. Oh my god, I haven't thought this through. <laughs> Turn one! I've just jumped straight into it. I have not thought any, any of this through. Oh, slow bros protecting! We just wasted the Z move. Sucker punch. Throat shot. Very interesting. Please die. That's bulky. Usually Thunder just one shots a bishop. Bring Tav Tavanatar in right now might be actually a good idea. Because I can just rock slide next turn. <clears throat> Should be faster than Bishop. Obviously this isn't going to do anywhere near as much. Throat Chop. Interesting move on uh, Bishop there. Very interesting. I wasn't... Well, oh well. Crazy. It is stab, I guess. And I, I guess it cuts out roar and stuff. Does does thunderous get roar? No, but why would you why would you throw chop, chop egg slash? Do you see how much that does through? Yeah, that does so much damage, my friend. Dragon rock slide's gonna. Mm, yeah, but he's bulky, slow bro. Are we going to play Risky again? <laughs> no, I think this time I'm going to switch into Finny. And I'm just going to Rock Slide. I don't expect this to pick up the KO on Slowbro. Oh, Bishop switches out! Oh, beautiful! Beautiful! Mario's going to take a ton. 
Trick we might go up though. But the mons we have are in like a good position. That Marowak could have low kick though. Or bone rang, but low kick's definitely scarier for uh, for <coughs> Tito. Excuse me. Mega Evolve. Mega Evolve. So feeling pretty good so far. There's that Mega Slowbro. I actually, after last episode, I did check the Slowbro's stats, and its base defense is like 180 or something absolutely stupid. That's insanity. Okay, no misses. That's beautiful. I don't think we're going to take down the Slowbro, sadly. Oh, no one here. Don't even take down the Marowak. Oh, God. RNG is on my side, my friends. RNG is on our side. Okay. I have a super simple play now. Crunch Gold. My opponent's forfeits. I mean, ugh, that flinch was kind of lucky. But I'm happy about it. So we're still climbing, my friends. Anyway, the, yeah, I mean, that flinch was unlucky. Also, catching that Marwak switching was ace. My, yeah, the thing was there, like, I was tempted to attack with um, Aegis Slash, but just in case this sucker punched, I knew. Well, I'm pretty sure Tito would have outsped Bishop, since that's a trick room team. <coughs> and Bishop's not very fast anyway. But then again, he was Tito, so maybe it would have been faster, but we shouldn't have gone down to an iron head. I mean, Bishop could have had a low kick, I guess. I didn't really consider that. But, anyway, so the switch in, it's a safe switch into Finny. And just going for the rock slide would have KO'd the Bishop. Um, would have KO'd the Bishop and would have just started chipping down slow, bro. Obviously, we got the flinch, which is which is nice, but you know that's just one of those things. Don't think it was any reason to quit, but I mean, yeah, I mean it was kind of it was kind of over. I would I would have taken both KOs there, and then Bishop was super low. Ah, ah! I don't want Johto Legend, but we're going against Simba, a fried rock with a scary team actually. Um, Arcanine. Wow. Wow! 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 We got the Arcanine, the Greninja, Marowak. Charizard, Tapu Bu, and Milotic. Okay, there's definitely some, there's quite a few things on this team that we're playing against now that gives my team problems. So, that's not fun. But that's okay still. Let's go. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to go Finny Katana. What's the worst case scenario there? That Marowak's a problem. What about Thunderous Tyranitar? Hmm. This is this is actually really tough. This is this is so tough because Actually I kinda of, I kinda of like Thunderous Tyranitar. I think oh I kind of have to bring in even though my opponent's got three fire types. Oh my god. Um I kind of have to bring Finny for the... No. Quick. Yes, I brought Incineroar. I brought Incineroar to this match. I feel like Incineroar is really good, apart from the Milotic. Did I bring Katana? I meant to bring Katana. Oh my god, I've messed up. I've not brought Katana. I needed Katana. I can always Ghost Gym Z the uh, Milotic. The thing is, Katana was like, re like, yeah, I, I didn't want to just bring Katana just for the uh, Milotic. Are you going to go Milotic straight off the bat? Try to have Milotic, okay. The thing is here... Oh, yeah, but I can't Electro Web. Hmm. Hmm. Do, do I... Mega Evolve? Yeah, I think I am, because I think you might Mega Evolve. I'm going to try and Volt Switch. I expect Marowak to come in, but it's going to take a Rock Slide if it does, so that's absolutely fine. This could also be Charizard X, by the way. If that's the case... If it is Charizard X, I might that might actually be better. If you brought Marowak, I think you bring it in now. Malotic could also protect. 
know what the worst thing is about being like, okay, in the, okay, Charizard actually switches out. Into Tapu Bulu. Hmm, okay. Well, that's not the, the worst play, because... Well, let's see how much Volt Switch does Smilotic. Probably Protect, to be honest. If Milotic doesn't Protect, it could go down to Volt Switch plus Rock Slide. I'm not intimidated. Return to Rock Slide's still going to do a chunk. No Protect. Oh my god, Thunderous. That, okay, that was a crit. Oh my god, RNG's on our side. To be honest, that would have done a huge chunk, plus the rock side probably would have taken my loyalty down. Okay, I can really Incineroar now. Incineroar's definitely the, the safest play here. Ooh, we in good shape. Oh, I froze. I have froze. I need to work that out, guys. There's something wrong with like, my OBS. Is it, like, is it because of the quality? I think it's just because my computer's really too honest. Well, that actually does a lot to Tapu Bulu, like way more than I thought it would do. Tabu is at 50%. That's nice. I am a bit panicked about Scarf Bulu. But. Maybe not. Oh, RNG's on our side today. We got that flinch game on. Okay, they did bring the Marowak actually. Well. Right, I need Talents off for. Um, I think I'm going to bring in Thunderous again. And I think I'm just going to knock off the Marowak. I don't see a reason not to. Yes, I could. What's the worst case scenario here? Um, I need to save Titar, so. Worst case scenario, Bulu fighting EMZs. The. Okay, you've just got. Oh, I see. That's going to do absolutely nothing. Exactly why I switched into Thunderous. Because it's going to take. If it's a super power, we're fine. This should KO. Oh my goodness! Oh, well, this won't do anywhere near as much damage now. Yeah, it's doing absolutely nothing. And Barrack's gonna go into the sand. We're feeling good. That is Scarf Bulu, by the way. Actually, no, no, tell a lie. It might not be because it did. It, it went before my Incineroar, but that doesn't mean to say it's Scarf. That doesn't mean to say it's Scarf. Kind of annoying that its HP is like scooping up. But if that is Scarf Bulu and you just super powered, then we're good. Okay, Charizard's back. The Zard is back in town. Okay, should I elect? You know what? Even though I want to Volt Switch, I think I'm actually going to Electro Web because I need to. I want to slow that, that. I want that Charizard as slow as possible. Like slow Charizard's going to be super handy. I think it's Zard X. Oh, my opponent just quits. Well, oh, why do people never play the game out to the end? You don't know what's going to happen. Like, yes, Bulu was at minus defenses. Yes, it was four against two. <clears throat> you know, it can still it can still win. Why is this team doing so well, like, so all of a sudden, like... I feel like I was convinced that this team was, like, average at best <laughs> when, um... Oh, when I built it, I thought this is okay. It's not great. It's not dreadful, but it's it's not amazing. Yeah, I thought it was pretty average, but we've done pretty well. We're at seventeen thirty-two. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty decent. Twenty and five. I'm pretty damn happy with that. The problem is, I was to say before, if you when you're at like the seventeen hundreds, if you lose one, you you, you drop like forty points or something. Wanna be Rika with 1673 from somewhere that I missed with a, another scary team with the Charizard, the Landorus, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Koma uh, 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 oh, and the Gastronom. Okay, um I feel like I should bring Katana to this because of Gastrodon, just in case. <sighs> Where would my opponent go, Gastrodon? I'm super leading Thunderous. Thunderous is good against pretty much, like, okay, it's good against Charizard, it's good against Landorus, as long as it's not Scarfed, it's good against Komodo. I'll bring in Cinero as well, in case it is Scarf Lander, we can just, um, well, first of all, Intimidate, and then fake out Hidden Power Ice. What else do I bring? Maybe I should bring Finny, actually, for the Komodo. Yeah, the only thing Finny's bad against, obviously, is the Tapu Koko. So... Hmm, but who do I bring then? I don't think I'm going to bring Kitana. 
I kind of want to bring Aegis Slash or Titar. I can't decide. Titar's threatened by so many things here, though. I think I'll bring Aegis Slash instead. Even though, not that Aegis Slash isn't threatened, but... Let's see, this is kind of a... This is one of the tougher matchups for my team. If I can get a surprise knockout on, like, Landorus with the Hidden Power Ice or the Komodo with Psychic, that would be super nice, because both of those are scary. Aegis Slash is really good against Tapu Koko, though. Because Ghost GMZ just knocks it out most of the time, as long as he's not, like, bull cable. It's Kamo Landorus. Okay, this is, this is, this is good. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, that's Scarf Lando for sure. I kind of expected him to be Scarf, to be honest. Well, I'm obviously going to fake out the, um, <coughs> Lando. Uh, here we go again, guys. Please let me get this off. Please let me get this off. Please let me get this off. Please, please, please don't. Please don't expect this. Please, 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 please don't expect this. You could protect just to be safe, I guess. Oh, Landra switches out. Okay. It's happening. Please don't be bulky. This is funny. I love it. I absolutely love Psychic on Thunderous. It's really funny. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it is a bit of a gimmick, let's face it. Come on. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit cheeky. It's a little cheeky. Okay, Landorus is back in. Fun. <coughs> um. See, now this puts me in a bit of an awkward spot. So I'm going to bring in Finny. I'm going to try and knock off the Landorus, as long as we don't get flinched, because I'm pretty sure you kind of have to go for Rock Slide here. So we get Finny in. That's fine. Thunderous is so good in this matchup, by the way. He can finish off every single Pokemon my opponent has, basically. Finny is okay. We don't be taking Solar Beams. Oh. Interesting. I was pretty sure you were just going to go Rock Slide then. I need to save Incineroar, for sure. Like, I need to knock off that Landorus. Or I need to fake out and hit a power eyes. Let's just dip a Coco coming in. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Kind of. I will knock off his item. He's probably Electrum Z, though. Oh, smart. Could have got a big psychic on Charizard there, actually. Okay, Z move. That's nice to know. Um, I think I'm actually going to try and calm mind it. I'm going to bring in Thunderous. Oh, should I bring in Thunderous? It's so risky bringing Thunderous in the Incineroar slot. Let's do it. Sorry. I feel like Coco's going to Z-move Incineroar. I think Finny protecting is like so obvious. You might like Solar Beam Finny. And, and um, it is odd why. Like Solar Beam. Solar Beam Finny and... Electrium Z Incineroar? Or you could just go straight out and, and Electrium Z the Finny. That would be really bad. How oh, beautiful. Beautiful! Don't Heat Wave, Soul Beam. Oh, it's Heat Wave. Oh no, Thunderous. We can live one. Just. Okay, that Calm Mind's super handy, by the way. Um do -do 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 do 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 this turn. I guess I'll bring in Incineroar. I, I what am I most scared of? I think getting rid of Coco's important. Okay, Lando's back in. Fun times. I'm gonna get the Intimidate off of Lando though, which is really nice. Oh man, this is a this is a really tough game. My opponent's got like, had four really fast offensive Pokemon. That's kind of difficult to play against. There's a reason this team's like this. This that combo's been pretty popular. Coco, Scarf, Lando, Zardwai, and Kamo. It's obvious why. Look out! Look out! It's so threatening. <laughs> Actually, goes for the D Gleam. That kind of makes sense. I'm so tempted to fake out the Coco and Moonblast it. 
fact, I am going to do that. I think Lando might U-turn. Oh, damn! You're going, you're, you're earthquaking. You're flipping earthquaking. God damn it. That's bad. That's so bad. I didn't really do much to incident up. Well, that was, a, that was a really bad turn for me. Okay, Tailwind's gone. I'm going for the Scald. Let's get Aegis Slash in. I know it's just going to Earthquake again, but I, I need Incineroar. Another Earthquake should proc my Berry as well, which is nice. Yeah. That's the problem, it's just free to Earthquake, but it's actually not that free to Earthquake anymore because I do have Wide Guard. Oh my god, I think I'm one point shy of my Berry. I am. Oh, that's really bad. That's so annoying. Burn? Yes! Right. Might I'm gonna right, this is so risky, but my, I'm gonna I'm gonna moonblast. And I'm gonna ghost Jim Z the Charizard. I I think Aegis slash protecting is so obvious that they might not go for it. I think it might go tailwind again instead. Yep, Coco coming in. New Landris was out of here because it's neg one and burnt. Please tailwind. Go on tailwind, that'd be really funny. Tailwind, I knew it. Absolutely knew it. <sighs> okay, we're in really good position now because Landris has to lock into something and it's probably going to be Rock Slide. That did a chunk to Coco and we get the special attack. Right, RNG. <laughs> the RNG gods are on my side today. This is ridiculous. Okay, this should KO Charizard. Charizard Y has like a decent special defense. I'm pretty sure it's like base 110, which is high. But it shouldn't live this. This is a super strong attack. Although, if it's Tailwind Zard Y, it might not be timid. It's probably like modest, bulky modest. Still, I would I would think this knocks out, to be honest. It's got some chip as well. You we surely can't live this. Oh my god, it's gonna live. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's bad. I thought we were safe. If we killed that, wait, okay, right, think now, think, 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 think. I'm just going to double protect this turn. I could also... Oh, yeah, no, I think I'm just going to double protect this turn. I'm just going to scout. I just want to know. Oh, that... Just being shy of the knockout is super annoying, by the way. That's a, definitely a bulky as hard why. That's kind of annoying. This Zard Y might not have a single target fire move. All of a sudden heat wave. But it probably does, let's face it. I would. Yep. Plus heat wave. That's what I go for. Yeah. See, what I could do is bring in Thunderous and White Guard. Which is what I might do, actually. Hopefully we get the recovery, you see. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Okay, Lando's in. Please, T-Bolt. You could also T-Bolt Aegis Slash, which would be bad. Yeah, I think this is going into Aegis Slash, to be honest. But... But... If this goes into Aegis Slash, then we get free switch into Incineroar. I can fake out Hidden Power Eyes. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Then I can fake out Hidden Power Eyes. 
Oh my god, Aegis actually live. That's 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 kind of good. Problem is you can degleam. Actually, you really can't touch. You really can't touch Thunderous if I wide guard. Let's wide guard again. Oh, you can U-turn though. I kind of wanted that free switch actually. That's kind of annoying. Right, well let's get um, Actually, let's get Finny back in for Thunderous. And I'll try and kill the Coco. And then I get... A yeah, okay, I've, I've got a plan. I've got a new plan. Because this is the last turn of Tailwind. I think... I think... Landorus will U-turn Thunderous. I think. Yes. Beautiful. That'll pop my berry. Yes. Yes. The Coco's nice terrain. That's... That's... So, so good, you've no idea. That's so clutch. Hey, this last match is good. This is a really good match. This is the... I thought I had it won when I ghosted and Zed the Charizard, but it was just shy. I think you probably just kill the Aegislash now, to be honest. That's what I would do. I, I actually want Aegislash to go down now. Aegislash? Yeah, okay, beautiful. That, my friends, is beautiful. Tailwind's gone. Cinero's back in. Okay. Do I fake out the Coco or the Charizard? Faking out the Charizard's the obvious one, but I want Coco gone. If you get one more. Mm. Then Landorus can Earthquake, you see. I really can't let another thingy go up. Another um, Tailwind go up, so I have to fake out Charizard, I think. Yeah, and you just kill... Yeah, okay. Hmm. It just does some gleams. Bye bye, Coco. I guess my opponent has to tail, like, go for the rock slide flinches now. Landry's been burnt super good, by the way. I have to try and kill the Charizard, and I'm gonna try and knock off the Landorus. This, if Charizard has Solar Beam, that's the other bad thing. Yep. Finny avoids. Oh my god, if you go Solar Beam and we live. Oh, Incineroar actually lived. Okay, this is clutch as well. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, I think we just win. It, it, well, wait, let's just see. See you later, Charizard. If we get this knockoff off, that's game. That's absolute game. Landorus can can win with rock slide though. Ah, we do flinch. <sighs> okay. Um. No, oh, no, but there's an easy win. I've got the win con here, so we protect Finny this turn. Don't take any more damage. Sacrifice Thunderous. Bring Incineroar back in. Fake out Moonblast. Or maybe Sun will have gone by then. Yes. Three wins again, my friends. That's actually really good. That's I'm I'm super happy about this. Actually, I mean, uh, okay, well. In every game today, there has been a little bit of RNG on our side. First game, we got that flinge. Second game, we got that crit on the Milotic. I don't know if that mattered, though, the crit on the Milotic, because Volt Switch would have done probably like 70, 80%, because it is specs, and it does, like, from Thunderous. Th Thunderous Therian's got, like, what, base at 145 special attack, and I am max special attack. Like, that was going to do a lot to Milotic, let's face it. Plus the Rock Slide, unintimidated from a Mega Town Top. I guess I'm going to miss the Rock Slide, actually, but... I think I think we could have had that game. That last game though, super good. Where um, super scary, like Scarf Landorus, Zard White. Got, how many times did my opponent get Taylor? Not like three turns. Obviously the burn on the Landorus was pretty um, definitely helped. Like like if we didn't get the burn, I think that would have been you know definitely a worse position. But you know what, Skull's got like a thirty percent chance to burn, so it's not like it's the craziest thing ever that it burnt. So. Oh well, GG's to all my opponents, that was super good, super fun, I really enjoyed that last game, anyway, cheers for watching you guys, take it easy and I'll see you all in a bit.